Hey there, it's Lee here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to enable performance mode on your USB devices. So from the Windows desktop, you want to plug in your USB device, be it a pen drive or a full USB hard drive, and it will come up and look a little something like this. Then you want to go down into the search box and type disk. The program is called disk management, but it might show as a create and format hard disk partition, so you want to select that option. It will load up all your hard disks. And further down the list you'll see your USB drive, so make sure you select the right one. So it's disk 5 USB drive, so it's actually a 32 gigabyte drive, and um, it's got the name of King Kingston, so obviously that matches that, just to make sure you're working with the correct uh, drive. Going back to the disk management option, if we select the drive and then right click, and go to properties. Then you want to select the policies tab. You can see it's currently set for quick removal. So this is the kind of the safest and slowest way to use the device. It means that you can kind of unplug the drive without causing too much uh, bother. But if you want to get the very best performance out of it, you want to select the better performance option and then click OK. You can, if you're using a uh, more like a physical USB drive, um, that is like um, a hard drive rather than like a USB pen stick. You might also want to enable write caching. A lot of USB sticks don't support this option. So for most people, I'd say leave this off. But if you have a, like I say, a big hard drive, um, typically with an external power supply, then you might want to uh, select this box as well. I'm gonna leave it off just in this example. So then you select OK. What you find is that the kind of the screen refreshes your um, USB drive will kind of disconnect and then re come back and then it'll work as normal from this point onwards. When you're unplugging it and replugging it, you want to use the eject option. So right click on the device and then go to eject and you want to use that option before removing your device.